Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Guess that can wait. You guys are definitely more important. What's up, guys? It's your boy, The Bad Wolf. All right, so this particular video is a powerhouse. If you're even hearing this, this is a tool that you guys all have. Didn't know where to go. Didn't know where to look. We're about to break it down, so by all means, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe, and pay attention. All right? Let's get started. So this particular video is going to be about... Now, though I'm using our state, which is Wisconsin... Okay, so it's Wisconsin State Legislature, okay? They are creating legislation, okay? A little bit different than judicial for those people playing the home game and know what I'm talking about. So here, Wisconsin State Legislature, we're going to be taking a look at. Now, why would you want to have this, okay? So if you're going to be building your case against a city official who wronged you, deprived you, you want to go after their bonds... Um, you want to talk about just somebody ignoring your rights. You want to talk about, you want to go after somebody um, because of them harassing you. Whatever it is, you have to know the rules of the game. So, either you stay out of their courts or you do better than them with their own materials. Because they have to go by the letter of the law. Okay? Their own law. So, for me... I just typed in Wisconsin, GOV, and um, legis, L-E-G-I-S, legislation, okay? Now, when you type that in, you're going to come up to your state, and all of them have one. It's going to look something like this, and it's going to have a little search tool and whatever else. Now, we'll get to the search tool later. Um, so, when you go here, you're going to want to look up statutes, because that's how they operate. Everything in, in their uh, world is statutes and rules, regulations, and codes. So as we go here, click statutes, and then you scroll down. So, what does it say right on the top? Oh, I like this. Table of contents. Every word that they use in normal daily life and, uh, you know, whoever... They all are using words based on what they have here in their table of contents. Now, here they said this is published by the Legislative Reference Bureau. So contact this number and here's their email address. Now, I happen to know this, for instance, when I did this years ago, unless something has changed. If I type in the word drive, educational information only... No results should pull up for just the word drive. But if you don't have the word drive listed in your database, but you want to talk about people having a driver's license, but you don't define, define that, and why, why would they not want to define that? Because it, they know that it means for commerce and profit, commercially used. So when you're in your vehicle going from here to work, unless you drive Uber or something, you're not using your car for profit. You're using it for pleasure. Okay. So let me just let me just check. I haven't even done this in a while. Let me let me take a look. Look, see. Five minutes later. Okay. So, what do they talk about here? Private drive, private road, and not the exact. Definition. It says no. So there's actually no. So still yet, there's no clear definition of it. Okay. It says no person may drive a compound or blah blah blah, but we already know what the word drive means from Black Law's dictionary, and they all are based off of those things. So they they want to. Most places are going to want to avoid that because it might make some of your driving offenses go away because they haven't defined the word. All right. So anyway, let's get back to it. So the very first thing here says sovereignty and jurisdictions of the state. So even they use the word sovereignty and jurisdiction. There you go. All right. So they're going to tell you what the, how their sovereignty breaks down. You drop down. Now it's going to tell you about elections. So it says elections, electors, elected officials, nominations, Everything you want to know about how they move and how to get on the ballot or how to do any of that stuff is going to be located in one of these sections in your table of contents. 
So as we go down, general organization of the states, so state debts, vacancies, blah, blah, blah. Domain and trust funds. Okay, you can find out information about that here. Public printing, okay? Educational institutions. So if you want to know what those places can and can't do and how they're set up, go to your state's website. Look up their legislation statutes. Culture and memorial institutions. Veterans affairs for us here. Charitable reformations, penal institutions, and agencies. Talks about children's code, social services, private asylums, guardianships, adult uniforms, all that. Okay? Next, counties, towns, cities, villages. Taxation of general property taxes. So here... If you want to break their code, this is where I had to go, and I found that 70.0.111 claims that if you if your house is not for profit and it is considered a shelter for people, you are not a taxable thing by your state. At least in ours, that's what it's listed under. Some of you guys, like here, I believe they also go by Wisconsin Unincorporated Association or Wisconsin or Unincorporated um was a community association or something like that. We call it something little. That's why you have to go here and read everything. So if you don't want to pay your taxes, make sure that you are exempt and use their own codes. All right. Taxation of public utilities, land sold for taxes, property tax collections, property tax appeals, motor vehicle and general aviation fuel taxes. Okay. Agriculture and food, safety, public instruction, trade, alcohol, tobacco, trademarks, trusts, monopolies, notaries. If you have any problems with those or you want to understand how to set one up in your state, this is where you come and look. Public health. Police regulations. So what do we have here? Law enforcement officers, their Bill of Rights, okay? Department of Justice, safeguards of persons and property, right here. Unclaimed property. Miscellaneous police provisions is probably a good one. Uniform Unclaimed Property Act. All right, so let's take a quick look at Miscellaneous police provisions, and then we'll pop down. Let's just see what they got to say. So, what does this talk about? School violence, junked automobiles, sabotage, daylight savings time, law enforcement officer cards, law enforcement use of force, right here, okay? Sexual assault. Schools, missing adults, eyewitness reports and procedures. Look at this. And then once you go to the word sabotage, it gives you everything in there on how to deal with them, what they can do, can't do. Okay? So let's back up. Partnerships and corporations. Transportation, utilities, banks, savings association. Gives you all of the fraternity societies, religious societies. Ah, here you go. Unincorporated Cooperative Association, 193. If I hit this one, this is going to tell me all about being tax exempt underneath a not for profit. But see, they hide the words. You got to know what to look for. Um, Citizen Utility Board. Never even heard of that one. Um, banks, miscellaneous banking. So if you want to hold your banking to things, or here at the bottom, that's a good one, foreign corporations. It's going to tell you all the stuff right there. Now remember, most of the time, they're going to be assuming from their writing that you are within their 
jurisdiction, though you are foreign, which means you're you're openly admitting that you're waiving your rights to being foreign and doing business here privately under the Constitution, and that you want to you know work with them. But each state's going to have their own, so read and see what it says about you doing something foreign there. But at the end of the day, if you're foreign, yeah, you can do your own thing. Because foreign really only means private or means not in their jurisdiction. So you can operate your business privately. As long as you label it the right way. 508C18 <coughs> or something, you know, had a little dust in my... All right, anyway. So... Yeah, what do we got here? Independent authorities. Fraudulent conveyances and contracts. Real estate contracts, whatever else. Health. Natural resources. Corrections. Police, parole, state, military. Vehicles would be a good one. General vehicle... Uh, Provisions, like I said, when I search for drive, they don't have it listed here as a with a definition, but they'll go right into talking about driver's license. All right, so operate, they, an operator's license, vehicles, equipment. Then what's next? Uniform commercial code. Oh, yes, the UCC. Had some of those people out there, these, these cock knockers talking about, ah, the UCC, yeah. right here, at least in our state. Now, Georgia is the only one I think is different, that they have their own versions. They don't F with the generalized UCC, the international one. But Uniform Commercial Code, general positions, sales, negotiable instruments, bank, blah, blah, blah. So even if you try to, let's just say if you need to pay something off and they don't want to under, uh, abide by certain rules in the UCC, you can nail them to the wall right here with their own code. So I would be able to say, well, yeah. According to uh, uh, Statute 403 under the Uniform Commercial Code, negotiable instruments, you got to do this and you got to do that. Even if they don't know it, use their own code. They got to look it up. Now they got to abide by it. Shazam. All right. What else we got here? Consumer Acts. Some of you guys are being bothered with insurance, credit card transactions, administration, debt collections, debt collections, um, first lien, real estate, mortgage loans, motor, motor, motor vehicle, consumer leases. Your rights are all right here. Okay? What else do we got? Licensing. So farm, bank, psychology, barber. All that's right here. Investment, gaming, insurance, property. Courts, court of impeachment, Supreme Court, court of appeals, circuit court, municipal court, juries, judicial branches and agencies, committee. Married, the next section is family, so marriage, domestic partnerships, actions and proceedings in special cases, actions against the state, state official not uh, abiding by you, not playing ball, doing something they're not supposed to do, hold them to the code, not taking your, uh, your affidavits or whatever else, hold them to their oath of office, hold them to the codes, liens of vessels, liens. Habeas corpus, mandamus of prohibition, quo rorento, contempt of court. All right here, guys. This is where you find it, on your site for your state. Small claims, civil procedures, trials, judgment, writs, garnishments, injunctions, Arrest and bail. Remedies supplementary to execution. Court costs and fees.
everything probate. Provisions common to actions proceeding in all courts, witness testimonies, documentations, liabilities, damages, all that stuff. You want to you go after someone's bonds because they did harmed you? Guess what? You can find out what they can and can't do right here. Okay? Evidence. So even your evidence, your own words that they used against you, you can use right here. What, what's admissible? What is hearsay? Criminal code. Controlled substance. Criminal procedure. So that's it, guys. If you guys want the breakdown on what they can and can't do, sometimes these people will lie. Sometimes they don't know the truth, which means that from them, that means that they unintentionally did something, and so they shouldn't necessarily be punished because they did, they did it unknowingly. Well, guess what? If you did something, tell them you did it unknowingly. No, I didn't know. What's my remedy? All right, guys, that's it for the bad wolf. Thank you for checking out this information. Don't forget to hit that. You know the drill. And for all additional information, check me out on blacksite32.com and any of the information links down below. Otherwise, for those people who want to join the wolf pack, feel free to go to the main YouTube site. On the right-hand side, you'll see the join button. Pop that. You can pay $1, $3, $5, whatever. Support me monthly. That'll help me to continue to bring you guys fire information like this. All right? So that's it. I got some more hunting to do. The wolf's out. Check you later. Go get them.